the neighborhood itself taught me how to love, how to mourn, how to live life. Pilsen is what Sebastian Hidalgo is talking about. He says it made him who he is. On any given day, you'll find him simply documenting life here. His love of photography began several years ago when his uncle asked him to take a picture as Hidalgo's grandfather was passing away in Mexico. I remember taking that step back to adopt a role of the observer for my absent family members who weren't there. And I really consider that to be the first assignment that I ever got. Since then, he hasn't put his camera down. For me, it's a tool to answer the questions that are, are really hard to answer. So three years ago, that burning question for Hidalgo helped to launch this project, the quietest form of displacement in a barrio. It started by just evaluating my own feelings. I didn't recognize Pilsing anymore, so I wanted to ask myself why. His Pilsen gentrification project even caught the attention of the New York Times, who profiled Hidalgo earlier this year. I am honored by the attention that I've been getting for this project. That article was a dream come true for Hidalgo, and so was his invitation to display several of his pieces right here at the National Museum of Mexican Art. It was something that I told myself when I was younger, when I used to pass the, the museum and say, I was like, one day I'll be there. Now three of his photographs are part of Peeling Off the Gray, an exhibit in the museum that focuses on the devastating changes happening in Pilsen. Hidalgo's work also made him a perfect fit for a groundbreaking journalism project on the South Side. City Bureau is a civic journalism lab based in Woodlawn where we pair emerging journalists with more experienced journalists. Hidalgo landed a fellowship here at this incubator last year. Daryl Halliday immediately saw something in him. Having someone like Sebastian at City Bureau is critical to our mission. This is an extremely talented young photographer, born and raised in Pilsen, displaying that love to the rest of the city. Hidalgo admits all the upheaval may compel him to leave his beloved Pilsen one day soon. The one constant for him will always be his passion for his art. I just like being in those moments, in those little tiny moments of happiness or pain or a significant moment. Those are the moments that I live for, and those are the ones that I really cherish within myself. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.